What's up guys? BTBS here. Welcome to the first in a brand new, hopefully very, very long running series spanning multiple games. This is Fallout 3 and uh, I've got a few mods installed. So um, we were going to be starting off with Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. But for some reason, they really don't like to be played or recorded. And I, I got them to work briefly, but then they sort of stopped working and decided to go and shit themselves and die. So <clears throat> I'm starting off with Fallout 3. And if I can get 1 and 2 to work at any point, I will definitely be playing and recording those as well. And yeah, like I said, we've got a few mods running because, I mean, everybody knows the Fallout games. They're, uh, I don't want everybody, I mean, what else can I say, really? Everybody knows them. Oh, that still seems really loud. I just want to start a flame in your heart. That's alright, we don't need to see that. So, uh, the first mod you can see right here, I am playing with uh, Alternate Start. So I don't have to go through all the bollocks in the vault. I just start as if I was right out there at the end. Ooh, clicky clicky. Got presets. Got anything good in preset? I wonder if I can make myself an old man. Yeah, randomize. That'll do. Everything looks fine there. Hairstyle. Pterosaur. Seems a bit dark, actually. I'm going to need to up the brightness a little bit. Let's see what, if he actually has hair. Yes, he does. Ooh, yellow. Ooh, nice. I think that'll be fine. Yes, this is, this is our character. So what are we going to be? We, uh can take the perception down a little bit and charisma but we're going to need extra endurance and strength intelligence and agility 7373875 that seems okay to me there we go and what are we going to think we're definitely going to want uh, not big guns small guns and melee weapons maybe um, definitely going to be using a lot of both of those at the start, and could take repair or lockpick. Lockpick could get me up to 26. Let's take lockpick. Yeah, good question. Where am I? Uh, let me just. Nope. Settings display. Adjust the brightness a little bit. We, uh, we have our pit boy. I can't turn the light on for some reason though. Ooh, pistol, guns and bullets, some rounds. There's a beer. Ooh, I've got feet! Holy shit, I've got feet! So uh, here you can see another mod. This is the pit boy radius. Or radius. It's basically just a new uh, version of the pit boy, which I think looks rather nice. And I do enjoy using it. We have a Merc Charmer outfit. What else have we got? Beer and guns and bullets. I better check this actually. Um, hotkey to throw a grenade. I want that to be J. So a whole bunch of these mods that I've got add little items into your inventory that you can use to customize their effects. Like MMM, Marty's Mutant Mod. And um, I have absolutely no idea what the settings on that are, but it's probably going to be somewhere to the point where we find <coughs> um, extremely difficult to kill enemies as soon as we leave this first shack. Uh, Lawnmower blade, knife. Why can't I turn my light on? Hmm. Oh, dear son. What's that? Um, notes. So I thought it was an audio disc. I'm not going to bother reading. Mmm. Bathtub. Okay. Oh, lovely. 
A gore bag. I actually might have to um, enhance these videos in brightness before I put them up on YouTube because damn this is dark. And I've got the brightness up at max now. And it's still really dark. Well, let's see if it's brighter when we get outside, shall we? Because <clears throat> we were in just a little house there and I have got a few uh, mods to tweak lighting and such. Ah! Uh, yes, download map markers. Shit. Was not expecting that the second I walked out of the front door. Ah! Someone just fired a dog-shaped ballistic missile at me. Right, okay. So there's a vicious dog. You glance down, you see a note that's blown against your foot. Being an intrepid adventurer, you have no choice but to bend down and pick it up. A note easily missed. Interesting. Um, that's one of the exploration and puzzle quest mods I added. Um, hmm. Where are we? Oh. Um, this is like Springvale, so Megaton should be right over there. There it is. Interesting. Yeah, just checking my controls are all bound properly. For some reason, every time I e en exit the game and come back in, all my uh, custom controls for the keyboard and mouse have been rebound. So what I have to do is I have to start the game as an administrator, and when I end the game I have to close it via um, the control panel. Otherwise I lose my controls. I don't know why, it's probably just something to do with some of the mods I've got, or like a bug in this version of Fallout 3 or something like that. It's easy enough to get around, so I don't really mind. Hey! Raiders already? Die! Yeah! Ding! We got Chinese pistol. Die! Suck, dick, and die! Yeah! What do you have? Pull cue! That's good, actually. I'm going to need a melee weapon early on. Uh, I've got the knife. I'm going to use the knife. I'm going to need some sort of melee weapon early on because uh, <clears throat> something is making it very hard to actually get items and such. Like I said, I've got a hell of a lot of mods going on. Ah! Wah, wah, wah! Toro, Toro, on guard! Come here, you little shit. Ah! Wild boar! The fucking mole rat just ran off and got his friend to back him up. Yeah! Yeah, how you like me now? Oh, hello, what's that? That is a wild iguana. Ah! More mole rats! God, they're fucking everywhere! Ah! Probably... Ah, hello. Scavenger? Hey there. That's not what your subtitles say. Have you anything Take to say? Welcome to God Forsaken Hellhole. Not much to look at. Nice. Nice name for a shop there. So, uh, you can see another mod that I've got, which uh, comes up. It's the um, MTUI, which is an updated, better laid out uh, user interface for basically everything. And it just makes the game a whole lot nicer to play. And it makes um, going through chat menu. You've got a minigun? Fucking hell. Uh, it makes going through like chat menus and stuff a lot easier and quicker. You've got some weird stuff. I will take that. Um, pull cue. Couple of frag grenades. Have a, a dog meat. And that will do. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I'm very tempted to kill you, but I also don't want to kill you. Ooh. 
Also, will you kill these guys? Will you? No? Really? You don't give a shit about these? Well, anything I can kill. Ha, <laughs> his head blew off because I scavenged his tooth. Yeah! That might actually be part of the Marty's Mutant mod, which uh, I believe makes some enemies afraid of others and makes them less likely to approach those enemies they're afraid of. There you go, he's shooting something. Awesome, I can go and loot the stuff he kills. What up, Scav? Oh, I see, you just killed yourself a... mole rat? Yeah, nice. Uh, also, as you can see, I've got a sprint mod, which uh, allows me to expend my AP for something useful, because, you know, like, the first time you play Fallout, you use vats a lot, and then the second time you play Fallout, you don't ever use vats at all. And so basically, uh, if it's not your first time playing, you don't use vats, so I needed something else to do with my AP. What is that noise? Really? All that noise is coming from you? Yeah! Man, that iguana's got some health. Just get him out of the way because he was making a lot of noise. What is that? Is that just another mole rat? It is. Yeah, suck shit and die, mole rat. I blew your head off and now I've... Oh, wow, your head actually just is rolling around. Woof. You ugly. Right. Um, now, hopefully I don't encounter anything else. This is one of the things I always like to do when I start playing Fallout 3. Just, uh... You come behind Megaton and you open up the rock. Shit. And you just run away from the mole rats. There's an awful lot of mole rats there. I think that number might be uh, a bit, little bit inflated by Marty's mutant mod. Hello, hello. Let me wave at you. Hello. Uh, where is Deputy Weld? Yo, Weld. Oh. They, uh, they stopped following me, apparently. Yeah. Hey, world. Hey, where are you running to? Mickey, aren't you the homeless guy who lives out front of Megaton? Where's everyone running to? Okay. You caravan guard. Cool, caravan. Cool. It'd be better if I actually had some, you know, money. Hey, it's welcome, Crow. Welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am... What are you trying to say? Um, okay, what do you sell? Look, oh, you sell armor. anything calls out to you. Ooh, I just heard a bird call in the background. So, um, another mod that I've got that's really nice is um, Ambient Wasteland. And it basically just adds a whole bunch of animal noises, you know, wind and falling rocks, stuff like that, just to make the wasteland seem like there's more going on in it than there actually is. And it's, uh, it, it's really effective, I must say. It can go a little over sometimes with like the wind and stuff. Into Megaton! Take a couple of uh, basic quests. Hello! Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too when the need arises. <coughs> nice hat. So that's the way it's. No, Just I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Message received. I'm glad. 
Um, yes, apparently I'm looking for my father. Nope. Sorry. Oh well. Uh, let's discuss this bomb. What? A uh, who would build a bomb or a town around a bomb? That's crazy. It's not like the place was put up overnight. Megaton's been here for decades. Started out as a small settlement of people trying to get into Vault 101. Hmm. When they were denied, they stuck around here. Some of them started worshipping yeah. the thing like a god. By now, most people don't give a shit. They figure if it ain't gone off by now, it... I could see about disarming it for you. Uh, Not at 100 caps, I'll take it. Maybe now that I'm helping you, you can tell me more about my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger. You lying place. bitch. You knew something all along. I have to go now. Yeah, Megaton. See, it just seems very crazy that, like, you would settle a town around a bomb. I mean, look at the size of this crater as well. It seems like the bomb actually went off, but, I mean, how else are you going to get a crater like this? But it clearly didn't go off, so... I am left to wonder. Oh, my light. I do have my light. Good. Uh, 25 explosives or higher. Oh yeah, and then you can... Uh, there's two different quest lines. One where you can actually set the bomb off. Which is fantastic to see. Because, you know, sometimes you don't want to live in a town full of scrap and hobos. Right, let's go and see Moira quickly. Hey. hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Yeah, I've got plenty to say about life great. in the vault. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time, or... This outside place is amazing! In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Hey. That'll be good for the... Yeah, she... I just noticed that. There was a Volts uh, 101 armored vault jumpsuit on the background there. How have I never yeah. noticed that before? I must that, have played this I game a hundred times. Test my theories. No, then they just yell a lot at me. With uh, yeah, I'll help. I can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm! Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. What? Um, what about this radiation? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. <laughs> Not so for long. I need you God to get it. a bit of radiation poisoning. Um, yeah, just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or. At least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated Margarita. Now, 200 Raj. Um, Just make sure you... You also want me to get more radiated, don't you? I think there's a second part to this mission, which is get, um... Like, six or eight hundred rads? It's not all that hard. Yeah, contract radiation sickness. Severe radiation sickness! Which you can do very easily by, uh, just coming down here. Just in case you, did, you guys didn't know this, just stand next to the bomb and drink the water, and you get 19 rads a second. Mmm, tasty, tasty bomb water. You now have radiation poisoning. Woo! Success. That's 200 rads. Next one's 400. There shall be no tears. Yay! No radiation no sickness! Suffering. I have advanced radiation sickness! I'm advanced! <laughs> and that should be critical? 
Yeah. Let's take a quick look at uh, this. Stats. Effects. Minus one strength, minus three endurance, minus two agility. That's um, that's quite the negative effect there. Also, where is that? Wait a minute, did I equip that? I dropped it, damn it. Oh, what's the button for the light? I like to have my light on. <laughs> Fucking Brahmin. Thinks it's a cow. It's not a cow. Cows only have one head. As far as I know. Moira, I'm, I'm irradiated. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> God damn it. I'm about as irradiated as I can get without burning a hole through the floor. I can tell. You're positively glowing. That can't be good. Now just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Too tired to be snide. You're a lucky one, you know. At this level, most people don't make it. And now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. Oh, I've God. I've never had the chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Thrilling. Okay, a little ramen milk, a couple magnets... Maybe a few happy thoughts. <laughs> well, you really? lied. Milk oh, and that's magnets. The good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. God damn it, Moira. Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> um... Whenever you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, or uh, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Lovely. I need someone to research how to travel through a mine, and that'll cover the first. Getting food. There's Let's do this. Okay, I'll check the super duper mine. Also, show me what you have to sell, because I have some stuff to sell probably. Yeah, I've got some meat. Mark Raider outfit. What do you have? I could do with some more. Uh, oh, scoped hunting rifle. Nice. So I've got a couple of mods which add more weapons to the game, as well as um, a few mods that add basically, you know, everything from armor to backpacks, enemies, areas. Ah, uh, that'll do. Good hunting. Thank Come you. back soon. So Moira is. A funny little duck. She she's incredibly chipper for someone who lives in a post-nuclear world. And even if you uh, even if you do bomb Megaton and destroy her life, she still exists as a ghoul, and she's still kind of happy about it. There is a an, an end to her quest line where you can make her be all depressed, but that just feels like you know, it just feels like a non-standard bad ending. Because you're supposed to like Moira. She's sort of funny and quirky. And I think the term used nowadays is adorkable. Hello. 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 Ooh. Armory. Nope. What am I looking for? I cannot remember. God damn it. Stop breathing so hard. This guy runs like an asthmatic smoker. Uh, Moriarty Saloon. I'd like to find water. Hey. Uh, common house. Is there a posh house around? Do, 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 do. That's toilets, right? Yeah. Sounds like everything up here is shaking. Or is that an engine? What's this? Billy Creel's house? Oh, yeah! I need to get the... Um, must get the... Ah, dicks, what are they called? Hey, Billy Creel. Uh, bobbleheads. Yes, bobbleheads. Jericho. Jericho is the uh, the bad guy. I guess that shaking was actually coming from there. 
Damn it, how am I lost in Megaton? I never get lost. Right, so this is the house you can get in here. And, oh, to go to water, you go up here and then up again, don't you? Yeah, it's up here and then up here. It's It's been a while since I played this game, I must admit. I played through quickly, you know, just like 50 hours to uh, make sure all the mods were working and everything. Yeah. What is it? Hey, what can I do to help around here? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the... Now, I don't... You want me to fix some pipes? How many leaks are there? Cool. I'll keep it in mind. I have to go now. Let's see. Ooh. You must have something very, uh... Expensive. Hidden in there for you to have a... What was that? Very hard lock? Yeah. Seriously, dude. A very hard lock. You just incriminating yourself by having that. I mean, if you want to have something... Keep something safe. Just make the lock... Like, require a key so that someone can't pick it and find out what's in there. But then they're more likely to kill you to get the key. So, let's see if we can fix these. Uh, 30 repair or higher. No! Okay, well, um... Let's see if we can get into his house. Ah, I need the lockpick for that. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break into your house just yet, Lucas. I am going to. Uh, let's see if we go out. Let's wait a couple of hours. Uh, ah, wrong button. So here's another mod. Super fast waiting. Love it. It's just, it's one of those mods that you should just really have. Hello, Deputy World. Thirsty, partner. Try Where are you running to? Coldest drinks in the capital wasteland. Okay. I seriously doubt that. Ah, climb the rock. Alright, let's see what we've got over this hill. Oh, that sun actually hurts my eyes. I've got to spend less time just sitting in darkness. So uh, we've got an awful lot of mo map markers, which comes from a mod that just makes a whole bunch of places um, markered so that you can travel to them. Wild boar being shot at by a slaver. Well, you know the good thing about slavers is that you can shoot them all you want and you never feel bad about it. So I actually don't mind just wasting that slaver for no reason. Because she's a fucking slaver. And I'm playing a... Well, I haven't actually decided if I'm playing good or bad or neutral or whatever. But I'm going to be sort of... Maybe chaotic neutral. So I'll kill people, good and bad, and try and balance myself out at neutral. And just be a total dick blister while I do it. Right, let's uh, take a look at our map quickly. Uh, world map. Wow! Okay, I did not know it added that many markers. Did, has it... Oh, you know what it has? It's given us every single marker for everything that exists. I didn't actually want that. Oh well. Uh, let's take a look at the quest. What we got? Wasteland Survival Guide. Uh, Super Duper Mart. Yeah, let's do that. The uh, the first few Wasteland Survival Guide quests are a nice way of introducing mechanics to the player and uh, basically teaching you about the game without having to just be like, this is a tutorial. It does very well what um, Portal does. Where you you have these tutorial-like levels, but some people probably didn't even realise they were tutorials and just thought they were actual missions. And just 
and were just like, hey, this is something people could feasibly want done. Who's that? Escaped slave? Hello, escaped slave. You'll stay out of this if you know what's good for you. I'm sorry. I'm not fine. Okay, okay. Um, I don't want the water. I can help you take out don't. these jokers. Thought I heard something. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have I angered you? No. Good. Hey. I think I need to turn my sensitivity up a little bit. Boom. <laughs> You're not headed in a good direction. Ha! I will take all of your armor. Ooh, Chinese assault rifle. Ah, a dead slave and a refrigerator. Really? You guys were gonna kill each other for 10 bottles of water? Oh wait, you did kill each other. Well, you killed her and I killed you. But that is a fantastic way of uh, getting me a bunch of items to start the game with. So I'm actually kind of glad it happened. Um, ah, that should not be set to E. I need to change that. Where is it? Uh, weapon scanner. New hotkey, I. <clears throat> so the weapon scanner gives you um, precise information on your weapons. Sometimes the information you get in the game is wrong. And it also very nicely tells you what skill dictates it, like small guns or whatever. So that can be very handy. Uh, so, I've got a Chinese assault rifle, that's nice. Let's check the armor and see if we can repair any of it together. Yep. Just, uh, just get out the sticky tape, apparently. Uh, no, that should be everything. There we go, that drops our weight down to about 100. And going in, I think. Oh, I've even using a silence 10 mil. Nice. I think I want to try using this hunting rifle. That's loud. But it looks effective as well. So that is the water gone from there. <laughs> You know what I do need to do? I need to stick stim packs on my quick select. There we go. And I think I'm probably going to end it here for now. I like half an hour as an episode length for various things. It works well. But I'm going to pick up next episode and we are going to go and check out the Super Duper Mart. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please leave some feedback. Let me know if you're... Uh, if you if you like the first episode, especially if you want to see more, because I am super interested in doing more with this. I uh, could see this easily being, you know, 150, 200 episodes for each Fallout game, apart from 1 and 2, obviously, they're not that long. But I could definitely see this being a whole bunch of episodes of me having fun with Fallout. <laughs> Fuck you, I what? Ah, oh, yes. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you want to see more. Uh, leave comments, leave comments, like, thumbs up, whatever it is people say at the end of videos. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Peace out.